Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we're gardening here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today I'm uh, back here doing a little bit of a fall inventory behind the arbor, between the arbor and the back fence. And just seeing how things are looking and I came across some damage from a predator of some kind. And I don't know what it is that's eating my plants. So I thought I would show you and you can maybe tell me what you think it is. Let me show you the different plants that have been damaged. So the first thing I thought was that we had deer inside the fence back here uh, because of the way the damage looks on some of these plants. For example, this is a proudberry coral berry shrub. It didn't flower this year, so I don't have any berries on it. And you can see the leaves are very tender and they look a lot like, um, well, they feel a lot like a columbine leaf. They, they're not the same shape, but they're the same color and the same, roughly the same texture as columbine, which, um, you know, pretty soft and tender. And so the damage that I saw looks like this. So something has eaten the leaves from this area up the stem to the tip of the leaves, to the tip of the stems, excuse me. So I thought, well, a deer has come by and tasty bits, tasty morsels along these stems is what ate that shrub. That's what I was thinking. Also down over on this end, I had a bronze fennel here that now is just, it's just bare. And it sure does look to me like this has been chewed off by some sort of mammal. I know that I didn't trim it and it just has lost all of its fine feathery foliage off of this fennel. Fine feathery foliage on my fennel is, is has been forsaken. Hmm, what else can I say? There's another F word that I want to say, but I'm not gonna. So I thought, well, we must have had a deer come in. Because I can't think of, you know, a rabbit isn't tall enough to eat that fennel, nor is a rabbit tall enough to eat that coral berry. Um, so I figured, well, we must have had some deer inside the fence. But then I was looking around looking for more deer damage. And I didn't really see any, which was a surprise because I have a lot of plants in here that the deer would eat. Like this twist and shout hydrangea or this young tender azalea, or these hydrangeas. But there's no deer damage on any of these plants or any other plant in the whole back area. I don't see anything back here that looks like deer damage. So it was a mystery until I saw some other sorts of damage that we have. Here's one small milkweed plant and it's been eaten Clearly that's by some sort of bug, either a caterpillar or an earwig. I'm hoping it's by a butterfly caterpillar because that's why I put this milkweed in here and I'm gonna put more in next season. Uh, so I thought, well, caterpillars can clear a stem just like that. So maybe caterpillars can clear this stem just like that. And then I also noticed that down here on the ground, we have a dandelion that has really been chomped to bits. I mean, there's not much left on this plant. And something tasted and decided to leave behind these violet flowers, not flowers, but um, leaves. And so then I was looking around for more signs of insect damage, either earwigs or slugs or caterpillars or something. And I really don't see all that much damage, which I'm not complaining about. It just leaves a mystery as to whether we had deer in here or not. So I don't know. You tell me what you think. What do you think has gotten to my fennel and to my coral berry? And why did that not get on any of the other plants that I have here, which many of them are tasty to deer. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Get your theories, get your concepts of uh, what it might be out here plaguing the back garden. That's all I got for you today. Real quick, short video. Have a wonderful day in your garden, friends. I hope that you don't have any sort of damage on your plants like I have here. And I'll see you in another video real soon. Bye.